Hello everyone and welcome back to AP Human Geography with Mr. Elrod. We're going to finish up our conversation on movement uh, with, uh, with the topic of what's called distance decay. Now in our previous video we were talking about this idea of friction of distance and space-time compression. Uh, so when we talk about these things, when we talk about the interaction uh, between places, distance decay really is going to be the manifestation of friction of distance um, in spatial interaction. And what I mean by that, if we think of friction of distance, we think of distance as the cause, and we think of distance decay as the effect. Uh, so when we talk about distance decay, what we're talking about, is, and I mentioned this in, our, in my previous video, really is that we're going to see uh, we're going to see a correlation between the distance I move away from a place or a node of influence and the amount of influence that it exacts over the spaces around it and so I know I mentioned that with friction of distance uh, really again that is going to be the effect of friction of distance which is going to be a uh, distance decay now uh, just like we mentioned in our previous video, what's happening over time is that with the improvement in technology, whether it be transportation technology or information technology, uh, this concept really is becoming uh, less and less important uh, because uh, distance is no longer really a factor. Uh, again, whether it's, uh, whether it's cultural uh, influence, whether it's political influence, whatever, whatever it happens to be, um, distance is not really going to play much of a role because uh, through our, uh, through our uh, en uh, enhancements and improvements in tra not only transportation technology but information technology, uh, we're able really to transcend a lot of the, uh, poli uh, not political, but uh, geographic barriers that used to keep people apart. Now, of course, with all of this increased interaction, uh, again, are the problems that come with that increased interaction, whether it's the people who don't get along or maybe you have a situation where, um, the introduction of, of some type of foreign species into the ecosystem. Uh, the cane toad in Australia is an example that a lot of people like to bring up. I know in the United States there's a large conversation about uh, invasive species, especially on the Great Lakes region of the United States, that's um, that's harming a lot of the the uh, that's harming a lot of the uh, indigenous wildlife, especially the fish and things. Uh, so again, it's not like uh, we, it's not like all of these things are going to be beneficial. Sometimes we have some issues that we have to deal with as a result of this increased interaction. Uh, but again, you need to be familiar with this concept of distance decay uh, because again, it shows what role that distance is going to play uh, in the spatial interaction uh, between different places, which of course with places we also talk about the people in those places, the, uh, the ecosystems in those places, the culture, uh, the, the ideas of religion, all those different things, uh, and how likely is it that they are to interact with uh, the other places around them. So that's going to end up our conversation on movement, and then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to next move into uh, a conversation on maps, so that'll be our next video.